Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So we finally managed to do it this year. Won one of the games that come down to sort of the final few minutes of the game, coming out on top of the Falcons with Justin Herbert leading us down the field to give us that game-winning field goal from Badgley. So just before we get on with the video, guys, just want to say thanks for all the support so far. My views have been up loads in the last few months. My subscribers are going up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. And I always love to hear from you guys out there. So whether you're a Chargers fan, just an NFL fan, or whatever really, let me know in the comments, and I'd love to hear from you. So with that being said, let's get into this week's video. So big game for us this week, it's Thursday Night Football and we're taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. One of those games, obviously at the moment, we know we're not going to make the playoffs and we're almost looking at draft picks for next year. Um, and there's a bit of me that thinks maybe if we just lose these games and get a higher draft pick, we'll be better set for next year. But this is a massive rivalry. We want to go out there, beat the Raiders in the primetime game, get some revenge over them, kind of maybe mess up their playoff hopes a little bit as well along the way. And what a better time to do it. Phil Rivers has just been in there and beaten them with the Colts. Now let's go in there and get this win. So our AFC West record has been so poor in the last couple of seasons. Um, obviously, we haven't beaten an AFC West opponent this season. We didn't beat one last season either. And we have to go all the way back to our winning 2018 season for the last time we beat an AFC West opponent. And that was in our Week 17 victory against the Denver Broncos back in 2018. And obviously against the West opponents this year, obviously we had that massive chance to take down the Chiefs early on in the season. And obviously if that game went our way at 2-0, who knows what might have happened from there. We had that heartbreaking loss to the Broncos um, just a few games back. That sort of unbelievable finish to that game where they beat us and obviously we know what happened against the Raiders first time up as well. So let's talk about our defence in the last game. Three takeaways against the Falcons. Um, didn't give up any points in the second half of that game and a very solid performance all round for them. Let's look to see that momentum coming against the Raiders. Henry Ruggs I believe is out on the Covid list this week. So we're looking at sort of Aglahor, Renfro and obviously Waller as kind of their threats through the air. Obviously, Josh Jacobs as well does pose a huge threat on the ground, as we saw in the games we played against them last season. In terms of our offense, look for another big game from Justin Herbert. Austin Eckler, it'd be nice to see him get a bit more involved in terms of sort of our running game. We've got Austin Eckler, Ballage kind of backing him up. Justin Jackson looks like he might be coming back very soon. And Joshua Kelly's kind of faded away a bit. Uh, it was a really good start to the season, um, but his numbers have just tailed off. Um, I know he wasn't active against the Falcons, but he seems to very much be sort of slipping down into that third or even fourth kind of running back position for us at the moment. And just a stat on Joshua Kelly, he's averaging 3.17 yards per carry. In terms of running backs who had at least 75 carries so far this season, that ranks dead last. So we can see why sort of Eckler... Um, Balage and Justin Jackson when he comes back is going to be sort of ahead of them. Obviously we've got Pope there as well so there are a lot of options at running back um, but I'd like to see Eckler kind of break out, do a lot of what he was doing in the passing game as well last year. I know it's sort of easier said than done when he's sort of running back one but I'd like to see him get more involved. In terms of our passing game very much seems to be Herbert to Allen at the moment. I like the way Herbert's kind of spread around and found more receivers got to say it's been a very disappointing season for Mike Williams so far obviously he did pick up that injury against the Falcons but as a whole I was kind of expecting more from him this year so let's move on to my prediction for the game I am actually going with the Chargers to come away and get the win here it would be really nice if we could get one over on the Raiders obviously as I've touched on our record is so bad against AFC West opponents at the moment it would be good to go into their backyard get the win pretty much ruin their playoff hopes along the way and give us sort of positive things to work with going into next season. Let's hope that the game doesn't come down to a last minute kick because I think we'll all be very nervous about that considering what happened in our last primetime game earlier in the year. Enjoy the game guys, give the video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.